Yeah. They didn't do it. Right. Welcome back to the channel, people. <laughs> Today, I've got a special guest. But to be honest, I think I'm his guest. Would you say I'm your guest or? Yeah, I'd say so. It's a uh, feel good, though, isn't it? It's the one and only. <laughs> the one and only. All right, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. Go it's on. the one and only Russell Lamont. Hi, people. How you doing? So, um, oh, if you had a stand, it'd be good, you know. Oh, no, I ain't got one. Ain't but got what one. we're doing today is we're doing this big, another probably three million pound house. We're not doing the house, Russell. I think you got to say it, you know that because well, we we got you brought me on. Well, we got um a double ball nose to do today. <laughs> the other fitters were here, and. They felt like they couldn't do it. Are we naming them? Are we naming them? No, we're, no, we're not, <laughs> we're not naming them. They're good fitters. They're, they're, they're really, really good fitters. So they had a go at it. Uh, they weren't happy with it. Um, and then we got the call to have a go ourselves. We, we might not even do a good enough job as what they have done, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if all these courses and everything that we've done over the years pays off. Yeah. That's how I see it. All these courses. Shout out the courses. Oh, floor skills courses and fitter courses and obviously you know the NICF that we both are members of as well which give us a lot a lot of help as well a lot of help Russell's a master fitter so he knows what he's doing yeah Sal's a master installer so he knows what he's doing as well so so we got basically from what I saw from the pictures because we don't work Saturdays and we're kind of just like yeah. thinking, you know what let's just team up do a little video yeah and then show some show some content so there's a bull nose at the bottom. Is it double? It's a double. It's a double bull nose. Yeah. And the steps a bit battered, to be honest. It's a it's it's a made it's a made up step basically. It's not a standard bull nose. Uh, they've come stuck the builders, I think, and they've just made something up, and we're just dealing with it. You know what? I just got to cut that. You know one thing I like about Russell, yeah? Look at that. Show your tools, please. Let me just show these tools. On, Let me come outside. If there's any installer here that's as organised as this guy. He would park up, that's his van by the way. He will park up, he will bring his tools out, organize as hell. I mean, look at that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's, say that again, mate. I knew you was coming, that's why I locked it up. <laughs> see, that? I'm just gonna pretend I never heard that. But you see what I mean? Like, proper organized, man. And I was, I was actually. I was actually, um, how do you turn this camera around? I don't know how to do it. I think if you turn it around, you have to stop. That's okay. fine. Let's turn it like this. Yeah. I was actually chatting to my apprentice. Oh, I can see it from the camera. Let me see. Yeah, I can see it from the camera. Sick. I was actually chatting to my apprentice the other day and I was saying good installers are more time most organized. Would you agree? Like their van, their it's tools. I, I see it as a time saver like you know it's I've got a couple of apprentices um, one's only been with me for about nine weeks now um, but I could tell him where anything is on my van I mean anything and he'll, he'll come back oh, Russ it's not there Russ it's not there and it's like how much do you want to bet <laughs> and yeah it's always there yeah, where, where yeah. It's, everything's got its place that actually reminds me up though you know that what's that when you say bro go get me some yeah some hook blades or some straight yeah. blades and they're like, and you're like, it's in that compartment that we keep the duct tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they go and they're like, it's not there. It's not there. And then you go out to the van and show it what it's there. And it's right there where you said it is. Yeah, yeah. 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 A good apprentice, a tip here yeah, that I would give to apprentices that are learning a trade. Make life easy for the installer. Are we going to learn something today? If he needs a nail gun and you know he's coming down from the stairs and he's finishing off the stairs and he's coming to the bull nose and he needs a nail gun, have that nail gun plugged into his tension lead with the nail gun there waiting for him and the nail gun filled with staples. If you start to do this without him asking, I think you're ready for the next step. Always be prepared. Okay, the next step is he's coming down. He needs this. I need to get all of that ready for him, plugged in right there. Exactly, ready. exactly that. It's like I was doing a job uh, Friday uh, Roger Oates, Ryan's been doing it with me for a while. We've been doing a lot of Roger Oates together, me and Ryan. We've probably done about 12 jobs together since he started. And it's like, you know the steps. The steps don't change. Have things ready for me. And then the more time they save you, the more time at the end of the job you can go over with them, showing them bits and pieces to progress them. Yeah. 
which which helps, you know, because everyone wants to get home at the end of the day. We we don't want to get homes at five, six o'clock at night, you know. You know, we've got families, etc., to deal with our, in our own life, but it's it's nice if we can finish a little bit earlier we can spend more time with them and they'll appreciate that more and push them on a little bit more as well which is good yeah it's true for apprentices you just need to be a bit more switched on yeah and you need to know the next steps mm. and that's how you're going to learn and it starts from cleaning can you clean <laughs> exactly can you clean can you hoover a room can you vacuum a room can yeah. you tidy up the room take the off cuttings put it in the van neatly yeah all and these things a lot of common sense a lot of common sense as well you know and and being polite you know, that's that's a big one for me because of a lot of the work that I do is, you know, high-end work. So if you come across rude or anything like that, don't care how good installer you are, they still won't want you back. So, you know, that goes a long way. It does. But me and Russell's going to get ready now, go into this property, and we'll keep you lot posted of how we sew a ball now. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Keep you updated. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. This is uh, Mr. Lamont. I'm putting his um, oh, yeah, we're doing thing on. imagery on. What? So he's gonna do. He's gonna put that up. So you guys we'll see what's going on. Good content. This has been stuck down. This is um, uh, looks like a velvety kind of carpet. Oh, this has been stuck down. Oh, I know the name of this backing, but. It slipped my mind. So these are the steps. You can see how big they are. They're probably good. How long are these, bro? Seven, seven time. foot? Two meters, two and a half meters, I guess. 220. 220. And you can see that they, they go round. We're gonna see what, I've got an idea for this, but I don't know if Russell's got the materials because I'm actually working out of his toolbox. And if he doesn't have the tools I want, yeah, yeah. we're gonna have a problem. Um, uh, so we, he's just going to take off these old grippers. Not that there's anything wrong with them, but we don't work on impress this existing no, prep, do we? We'll we, we go, we go do it our way. We'll so do it our no way. No excuses. Whatsoever. There's all pipes running through here, but we've gone it through with the customer with regards to where they are. Underfloor heating, underfloor heating. Absolutely amazing house, beautiful house, lovely customer. Um, uh, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be prepping the steps. Yeah. Then we're going to be marking it out, planning it out because. A bull nose step when it comes to sewing is as if you're making a tailor-made suit. Yeah. So you're measuring, marking, and you're gonna see it in the video. And yeah, there's no other word for it. I think like a tailor-made, tailor-made fit. Yeah. Bit of bit bespoke. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it up there, and uh, you can see us cracking on. Sorry, man. Let me. I just need to show this. Like you know when Russell said to me, "Bro, I've got all the tools." I'm not gonna lie yet. I. I, I know Russell, I've worked with him a lot of times, and I knew he had all the tools. Just look at this, like, I, I actually envy the organise. Look at that, look, look, look at that. Mini kicker. You made that, innit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lovely tools, beautiful tools. I mean, I think, I think just within these two toolboxes, there's a good three grand. It's, it's, most of them are custom made. That's, yeah. That's, that's the heartbreaking thing. But he's a very organised, organised individual. I wouldn't even say fit, I just he's an organised person. You know what, I'm gonna, I'll do a tour of his van in the end, <laughs> just to show his back of his van. But um, yeah, it's a pleasure to work with him, just to know that we've got all the equipment that we need. That's why I just come with my car, I didn't actually need to come with my tools, but it's great stuff, man. Thumbs up for that, I must say. Start the bend is, and as soon as the bend 
as soon as you get in the gap in between the rubber, that's the start of your bend. I'll do it the other side as well. You don't have to. But it's just nice to know what area you're sewing, like where the curve's happening. Do that both sides. This is hard working out someone's toolbox, you know that? Because <laughs> this is a made, made to measure step as well, it's not like that ain't grounded to a normal ball nose, you know? But it, it come out good, I don't know if it'll come out good. Look what they've done. Alright. Alright, you want to I'll start hacksaw? Alright. I'm gonna start. Let's get some cutters. Like they're brand new cutters, new blades. Yeah, so. I saw. <laughs> I saw. You know when a fitter says they're brand new cutters, they're new blades. Let me bro, watch yourself. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Come at me! I, do, I use them ones, what I was going to hands for like Blonde Guitar and Micro. Look at that! <laughs> so, you want to get all this piece here all in one. Four. Loud noises! You can get it all in one if you want to do it like proper, proper. But you, you don't, you just need to get the bend. So, get your tape measure, measure your bend roughly, alright, I need, say, 25 centimetres, cut your 25 centimetres off, put it roughly where it's going to go, so we're going all day, and just mark the start of it, Mark the end of it on the guitar. Where's your um, ring shanks? A uh, little box in the top. So you can see that. So in between that, that's how much I'm going to have to score with the hacksaw through that. You don't want to go all the way through. Um, So when you hacks on, just hacks it away. Also, if you look into gripper, you've got layers. You want to get down to right down to the last layer. But with that going through the last layer. close as well. You could possibly do this with a multi-tool, um, but doing it with a multi-tool is going to be a lot faster, obviously, but knowing my luck, I'll do the whole lot, come to the very last one and go through it with a multi-tool. Do it, you better off with a hacksaw, you've got more control over it. Give me some advice. 